Hi, so we have one more problem based on partnerships and profit sharing. And as you know, the profit sharing actually depends upon the investments, right? Profit is equal to some constant times investments. And what is investment? Investment is actually the product of the money or the amount which is invested in the business and the duration for which it is invested. Isn't it? If two people invest the same amount in the business, then the profit will depend upon the duration for which they are invested. A person who stayed invested for more duration, he should be rewarded accordingly, right? Person who has invested for the more time or the more duration, he should be given more percent or the more share in the profit compared to the person who has invested for the lesser duration, right? So these were the two relations which we have derived in our last video. And this was just to refresh our findings in the last video, right? So this is slightly longer problem and slightly complicated. Here we have three people, Naga, Gopi and Sanat. They started a business with an investment of 10,000, 20,000 and 20,000 respectively. That means Naga has invested 10,000, Gopi has invested 20,000 and Sanat has invested 20,000. Right? This is the first sentence of the statement and in the next sentence the complications actually start. What happens over here is after six months Gopi withdrew an amount of 5000 from his investment. Gopi who had initially invested 20,000 he withdrew 5000 from his investment. So after six months Gopi's investments become 15,000 right and after three more months Sanat added 10,000 to his investment, right? So Gopi is actually reducing his investments and Sanat is actually increasing his investments in the business, right? And the next part of the statement says, if at the end of the year, the total profit earned is 36,000, then find the share of each, right? So as you can see from here, profit is actually directly proportional to the investment and investment is the product of amount of money and the duration for which that money is invested right so if we can find investment for individuals we can find their profits because the profits will be in the same ratio in which the investments are right so we will start one by one so let these two relations be here they will help us in calculating profits I'll start with Naga. If I talk about Naga, the amount of money he has invested is 10,000. And this much money he has invested for the whole duration of one year. He is neither reducing or increasing his investment in between, right? So the time for which he stayed invested is equal to 12 months, right? I'm taking the time in months because in the later part of the statement after a few months people are actually increasing and decreasing their investments so time I'm taking in months because other durations or the time points are actually given in months right so Naga has invested 10,000 for 12 months so his total investments will be the product of the money that is 10,000 and duration which is 12 months right so his total investment will be 12 multiplied by 10,000 that is 120,000 right so his total investments in terms of money and time is worth 120,000 this is for Naga and now if I talk about second person which is Gopi what is happening to Gopi? Let me write Gopi over here. Gopi is investing 20,000, right? But after six months, he is withdrawing 5,000 out of it, right? So for six months, his investment was 20,000. So Gopi's investment, if I talk about in the first stage, it was 20,000 
multiplied by 6 right and after 6 months he is withdrawing 5000 so the remaining amount will still be invested and the remaining amount will be how much it will be 15000 and this is staying invested for the next 6 months right so the total investments done by gopi will be actually 20000 multiplied by 6 plus 15000 multiplied by 6 because for the first 6 months he is investing 20000 and for the next 6 months his investments are 15000 right so total investments over here will be 120000 6 to the 12 and followed by 4 zeros so this will be equal to 120000 plus 15 multiplied by 6 is 90000 right so his total investments are actually equal to 210,000 12 plus 9 is 21 and this will be followed by four zeros so the total investments by Gopi are actually 210,000 let me note down the details of these calculations over here total investment by Naga is 120,000 and the total investment by Gopi is equal to 210 thousands right and now I'm erasing all the calculations and now if I talk about Mr. Sanath what is he doing Sanath if I talk about his investments let's read the statement once again because there is a slight trick in between the statement is Naga, Gopi and Sanath started a business with investment of 10,000, 20,000 and 20,000. So initial investments by Sanath was 20,000. After 6 months, Gopi withdrew an amount of 5,000 from his investments right? that we have solved. And after 3 more months, that means after 9 months of starting their business, Sanath is adding 10,000 to his investments. right? So what will be total investments by Sanat? Investment is equal to money multiplied by duration. So initial investment by Sanat was 20,000 and this was invested for the whole year. So this will be multiplied by 12 and after 9 months Sanat is investing 10,000 more. So if we talk about that year for which we are calculating the profit share this 10,000 is actually invested in the business for only three months, right? So the total investment value of this 10,000 will be equal to 10,000 multiplied by three, right? So this will be the total investments by Sanath. Initial 20,000 stayed invested for the whole 12 months. And after nine months, Sanath is investing 10,000 for the remaining three months of that year, right? So the total investments will be equal to 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 followed by 4 zeros plus 3 multiplied by 10,000 is 30,000 that is 3 followed by 4 zeros and the total investments by Sanath will be 4 zeros will come as it is and 24 plus 3 is 27 that is 270,000. So the total investment by Sanath, if I note down here, is equal to 270,000. And now we will calculate their profit share. Their profit share will be in the proportion of their investments, right? So if I talk about the profit share of Naga, Gopi and Sanath, this will be in the proportion of their investments and investments are 120,000 and the investment of Gopi is 210,000 and the investments done by Sanat are 270,000 or this will be equal to if I divide all of them by 10,000 I'll get 12 is to 21 is to 27 and this again is divisible by 3 so their profit share will actually be in the ratio of 3 4s are 12 3 7s are 21 3 9s are 27 their profit share will be in the ratio of 
4 is to 7 is to 9. Right? So, the profit share of Naga, Gopi and Sanat will be in the ratio of 4 is to 7 is to 9. And what was the total profit? Total profit is here. It is 36,000. So, profit earned by Naga will be 4 parts out of 4 plus 7, 11 plus 9, 20. 4 parts out of 20 parts of what was the total profit? Profit was 36,000. So, multiplied by 36,000. Right? 0 will cancel this 0. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. So, this will be equal to 36 multiplied by 2 is 72 and 2 zeros. So, the profit earned by Naga will be 7,200. Right? And the profit earned by Gopi will be he will get 7 parts out of these 20 parts. So, 7 by 20 of 36,000. This will cancel. 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 8s are 16 and 2 zeros. And this will be equal to 2 zeros, 7 8s are 56. 5 carried forward, 7 1s are 7 plus 5 is 12. Right? 12,600. This will be the profit earned by Gopi. And the profit earned by Sanat will be maximum because his investments are maximum. Right? So he is getting 9 parts out of these 20 parts of the profit. And profit earned is 36,000. Right? 2 will cancel this 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 8s are 16, 0, 0, 2 zeros will come here and 8 9s are 72, 7 carried forward, 9 1s are 9 plus 7 is 16. So the profit earned by Sanat will be 16,200. So this is how the profits will be divided, right? And I think it's fun doing these kind of problems. Right? So, these are the two problems based on the partnerships and profit sharing. And for more videos on different topics and for more interesting problems, you can visit to MathSmart, which is my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.